Hello everyone, it's Woda again with another video tutorial on some Google stuff. Uh, today we're going to be talking about how to access your files inside of Google Drive. Uh, as you can see here, I've got um, uh, my uh, Google page set up here. Um, the easiest way obviously to get to this is going to be if you're on a Google page, go to the waffle here uh, and click on Google Drive here. You can also type in drive.google.com or if you've got it bookmarked, you can use that as well. Um, the first thing I wanted to kind of show you here um, is how to um, upload um, how to upload um, PDF files or other types of files um, that aren't native to the G Suite environment. So um, the way that I'm going to do this uh, today is going to click new here because this is kind of the gateway to everything um, new that you're going to put in there. Uh, new, you're going to uh, you can create a new folder and like we mentioned in the other video, you can do all these different things. But today I'm going to ch check um, uh, file upload. Uh, and I'm going to navigate here. It's going to pop up this window. I'm going to look for the file that I've saved. If it's on a jump drive, it'll probably be down here. If you've saved it on your computer, it'll be maybe in documents or something. But that's that's just something, uh, a way that you've organized it in the past. Uh, so I've got this grad requirement um, PDF that I'm going to upload here. So I'll click on that and I'll hit open. And you're going to see this box come up here. It's a little file, so you didn't get to see the action of kind of the circle filling in uh, uh, it just kind of happened real fast, but you can see that that has been uploaded to Drive, and indeed it is right here. So you would access that through Google, uh, right there into your um, Google Drive. You could have put that anywhere in any file or folder, organized it however you wanted, um, but that's where that is here. So uh, I wanted to show you that. Um, another thing I wanted to mention too uh, is that you can now access this folder file now that we've put it in here. You can access it from any internet. Um, connected device pretty much. Uh, it could be your cell phone if you've got the app. Uh, it could be any computer that's connected to the internet. It, it, it can get to it anywhere, which is the handiest thing kind of about Google Drive is that uh, you can't lose files anymore. Uh, it exists there. Um, another thing I want to mention too uh, is offline access. Now with PDFs and stuff, you can just essentially download those to your computer or whatever you're going to use and that will give you online access. But there are other things like these Google Doc files, like the sample meeting agenda that I created. Um, that you might want to make available to you offline as well. So the way that you would go about that, and then this this next thing I'm going to show you, it's it's a one step thing. You have to do it one time, uh, and then it's done uh, for every browser that you use. Uh, and the way you're going to do that is you're going to go up here to the settings um, gear. You click that, go to settings, and then uh, right down here you're going to see offline. So we're going to click offline, click that button, and it's going to immediately pop this thing up and say, hey, you need to install um, the offline extension. Uh, if you don't know what an extension is, essentially it's like an app for your phone, but rather than the app being on your phone, it's going to be up here in your Chrome browser. So it's an app for your Chrome browser that we need to install real quick. Um, so we're going to click install. This page is going to come up. You're going to see add to Chrome. So we will click that. This pop up. We'll say it's just telling you what it's allowed to do. Uh, and you can say, yes, I like that or not. But we're going to add that extension. If you look up here, uh, we have installed the extension. So there it is good to go. So we can X out of that. And now that it says remove from Chrome, well, that's another way we can kind of confirm that we've installed it. Uh, so we will hit the X here. Um, and then we're, we're going to make sure that this button is checked. Uh, it's going to say down here, it's setting some things up offline, but we're going to hit OK and done. So now the way that we would go about uh, now that that's done, that's again, that's a step you just have to take once um, for every browser that you're using. But but we should be good now. Um, so we're going to pick um, this file here. Where was it? Right here. We'll pick this meeting agenda here. Um, I'm going to right click it. And now you're going to see right here available offline. Uh, is going to be, uh, uh, there's going to be a switch here. You can click the switch there. Uh, and now with that check mark, we can see that it is available online. So if you do not have an internet access or a student doesn't have internet access, now they can go back to Google Drive um, on their browser. Um, but, and it might take a little time to load up, but they will still be able to, to use and edit and mess with that file. Um, so I hope this was helpful for you on how to access your files in Google Drive. Um, if you're on YouTube here, I've put some uh, links in the description below that's got a checklist for all the skills that you'll need for Google Level 1 uh, and also um, a link to the Google Help menu um, in the Learning Center for this article. Uh, again, hope this was helpful. Anytime you need me, you can get a hold of me, woe to jr at collins-cc.edu. Have a great day. Bye.